Hello, uh, this is Eduardo Ribeiro. Um, I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial how to use the Culada file format to uh, import uh, 3D objects to a uh, Torque 3D. Uh, this is the, uh, the, uh, the object right here. It's actually a whole CD block. It was done on uh, uh, 3D Studio Max 10. Cancel this here. It's just that's one f one frame rendered, just to show you know how how the objects will look like. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here, just to spin it a little bit, so you have an idea what the object looks like. Uh, this is not a high definition. Uh, you know the UV mapping on this it's not uh, very high you know it's just, just normal stuff from this point forward it's it's very simple actually you just you know select the whole object and just export it on the uh, on the Kulada format uh, which is DAE format and we're gonna import it on uh, Torque 3D alright now that we have the uh, the format setup. Uh, we're gonna create a, a new project here. We're gonna name it uh, CD Block uh, Test. Now, uh, uh, Torque 3D will create a folder with your project and, and include all the files you need for uh, uh, distribution. Uh, in the meantime, why why Torque does that? This is the folder uh, with the files, uh, with the UV maps and everything from the uh, uh, the Kulada, uh, the the CD block uh, object. It was also you know done on 3D Studio Max uh, 2010. I'm gonna copy this folder because I have to uh, to paste it in, inside uh, one of the folders of the project. Just wait a little bit here while. You it's creating the, uh, the project folder. Once we have the object uh, imported into the three D world, we have to you know uh, resize it so you know we'll will have the proper size of you know comparing to the to the character in the world. Alright this is all done. Now we uh we're gonna open the project folder uh and you know we're gonna place we're gonna uh, paste the the uh the, the uh, city blocks folder in there so we can import it from uh, <coughs> from torque 3D. We gotta make sure that uh all the UV mapping, all the pictures are on the exact same folder. I already said that again. You know, uh, uh, they are exactly on the same folder as the uh, the cool other model is. All right, they're all there. Okay, we don't need this anymore. All right, uh, now. Make sure is uh, the our project is selected the city blocks and let's uh, launch the word editor. Give it a few seconds here. Torque 3D is still on beta testing, uh, so you know there's a lot of uh, bugs and some uh, weird stuff happens here sometimes. You know it's still on the testing, and you know, it's on uh, beta five right now. All right. Um, let's uh, import the object. There it is. Okay. Let's uh, let me spin it a little bit so you have an idea. How it looks exactly like the model on 3D Max. Gotta place it on the right position and uh, 
and resize it. All right, now we have to flat the terrain a little bit. Uh, Torque has a tool that uh, lets you do that. Just gotta make it uh, a plane so you know, the city block can, can go on top of that flat terrain. put it on the right place here we still gotta resize it because right now it's very small comparing uh, to the size of to the size of the character in the, in the 3d world so move it a little more that way alright let's change it to the uh, uh, resize tool Let's stretch it a little bit. Okay, let's leave it here for now. I'll, I'll fix it right this way. Let's get the buildings up. Alright. Okay, let's just spin it this way here. a little, little bit over there uh, a little bit of the edge uh, will be uh, uh, you know over there needs a little repair over here too and over here but I'll, I'm gonna leave it like this make sure it's at the right height so I can jump on it and you know with the character and then just move We gotta set the you know the the, the collision too, so um, so the character uh, won't pass through it. Gotta turn collision on. The type of collision. This will be fine. Let's change the camera to the, uh, the third person view. move it over now now it it still needs a little bit of work because as you can see you know it's a uh, it's still uh, higher than the ground a little bit but it, this is just to give an idea and there it is uh, you know I'm right on on, on the street now uh, you can just move around and uh, you know, it feels a little too tall that sign there but but this is all right this is good enough that's how you do it uh, there are other formats too but Kulada it's a it's a very very simple very easy format because it basically does you know all the uh, the UV coordinates and everything for you thank you for watching the video